What the hell is this? Google and YouTube freaking at the same time on their shenanigans for January 1st? Wait a minute, are you telling me that this YouTube COPPA deal may be a farce? As in, let me rephrase it to help people understand. You mean it's a front to help with censorship? Censor anybody and everybody they can? Because coincidentally enough, now Twitter is now pulling the same mess. And then coincidentally enough, turn around and remove 300 Trump campaign ads? Oh, hell no. They're up to some nefarious stuff, and a lot of people are affected. Get up while you're here. It took me some soul searching and thinking and stepping back to figure out what the hell's going on with this YouTube COPPA and how everything else is conveniently connecting. YouTube pulling ads for Trump, people being censored, people being worried if they show certain content that they're going to get kicked off, booted off, or whatever. I got news for you, YouTube, and I got news for you, FTC. FTC, you need to get that money back. I have a bad feeling you're trying to pull some nefarious mess. Now, I ain't gonna lie. When a lot of channels get removed, everybody's gonna be focusing on certain channels on freaking YouTube. I've been warning the Patriot community for some time what the hell's really going on. It's not just a battle between liberals. It's also a battle siding with the controlled opposition. I got news for you people. You need to start waking up. This is not a matter of just laying down and doing what they tell you. You need to stand up. I don't care if you're a Trump supporter. I don't care if you're a conservative. I don't care if you're a liberal. I don't care if you just represent America. Everybody's being affected here, and people need to start opening their eyes on what the hell is about to happen. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Andrew Smith. He works as far as Director for Consumer Fraud with the Federal Trade Commission. He has some deep state ties, ladies and gentlemen. Did you know he came from Covington and Burling? The same Covington and Burling that has connected Eric Holder. The same Covington and Burling that represents Barack Obama. The same Covington and Burling that represents Hillary Clinton. And the same Covington and Burling that currently, as of this moment, represents Joe Biden. Folks, you need to wake up. The good news is there has been an interesting development that just occurred today. Now, as of within the last couple of hours, these two gentlemen, Larry Page and Sergey Brin, co-founders Google, they have stepped down. They have resigned. Now, how does this play out? Let me show you a chain of command that you need to be aware of that might end up affecting everybody involved here. This is Sergey Brin here, president of Alphabet, co-founder of Google. His wife... Ann Wachinski is the co-founder of 23andMe. That's a whole nother topic. But her sister, Susan Wachinski, is the CEO of YouTube. Now with this guy now gone, it's a matter of time how long she's going to hold on to YouTube. My guess is I don't give it much longer, especially a new development that happened over the weekend. You can go too far, and that can become censorship. And so we have been working really hard to figure out what's the right way to balance responsibility uh, with freedom of speech. But the private sector is not legally beholden to the First Amendment. Earlier this year, YouTube started reprogramming its algorithms in the U.S. to recommend questionable videos much less and point users who search for that kind of material to authoritative sources like news clips. With these changes, Wojcicki says they have cut down the amount of time Americans watch controversial content by 70%. Listen, Wojcicki, this may be your little deal for now. I say for now, because your brother-in-law just had to step down. So changes are going to trickle down. It's going to be a while before you get to you. But I got news for you. You are going to regret a lot of the decisions you made, including taking down those ads, including censoring conservatives, and including thinking that you can run the gambit without even so much as a criminal prosecution. The fact that you think you are immune to the Constitution, oh no. Bad move, young lady. Bad move. See, you struck a nerve with me when you had a nerve to say your guidelines and your company does not have to abide by the Constitution. Don't you ever insist that the Constitution is immune to you. Because the minute you think it is, people like me and millions across this country should really, and I seriously say, really give you a reminder. Folks, get this video out here. All are about to be affected by changes she's making and all the things that she's trying to pull off thinking it's okay. It's not okay. This is America. This is our country. Don't think you're going to get a free pass, Wachinski. This ain't over.